All right, Shalom. Real quick, you know, this is just a, over a look, quick, brief overview of the word uh, guile. You know, I'm gonna make a lesson out of it. You know, because it's very important. Because you have certain um, instances or times when you be attacked in your mind uh, about it, you know, about something. You know, it may be something a brother may say to you, but you have you know demons that attack your mind. You know, and make you try to, you know, they put thoughts in your mind to make you want to, you know, basically buck up and be that, that dick, that nigger that you can't tell shit to and that can't take correction from your Abashim Yahushah. And it's very important. So I'm looking at uh, this, this word, guile, it's a noun. It means deceit, wild, fraud, roast, ruse, trickery. So the, that's what the word means sorcery, rich, witchcraft. You know, um, that's what this word means. Um, so the scripture says, "Bless he who has no guile." This in his mouth, man. This is blessed. This is Psalms chapter thirty-two, verse two. Blessed is the man whom unto whom Yahweh imputeth not in iniquity. That's sin upon sin, and whose spirit there is no guile. There is no trickery. You know, there is. You're not. You're not trying to. You know. Um, you're not basically not deceitfully being doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. You're not. You're staying in your own lane. You're keeping your mouth to yourself. You know. You may have thoughts in your head, but if you trust in Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, everything will see. See, uh, he will see things through. You know. You have you have thoughts in your head, and that be Satan, man. You know, trying to uh, trick you into. Believe in the things that he is putting in your head. It may be something, it may be something simple, man. It may be something so damn simple. So simple, like running a stoplight. Like running a traffic light. That be it may be something that fucking simple that Satan will put in put in your head to make you try to come up against somebody else, man. You know, but the Lord said, remain humble, man. You know, remain humble. That that is the key, remaining humble and keeping the door in your mouth, man. That is something that some people have to uh, practice. You have to learn, you know that that you don't always have to. Um, you have to you you gotta learn that being quiet and being uh, keep your mouth to yourself is a very important thing because the scripture says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue." You know, and this is something that I have experienced, you know, and I'm pretty sure not probably every brother has experienced those thoughts being in your head about another brother. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, what the fuck, man? Get the fuck out of my head, man. You know, and that's just something that we have to deal with. But the the point is something that's very important is that you cannot allow those thoughts in your head to. You can actually believe those thoughts. You can't follow the trickery, the, the trickery, the guile of Satan, because that's what the word trickery means. Guile, you know, that's what the word guile means. Trickery. So like, I had that backwards. Uh, this is oh, this is a dagger. Right here. This is Psalms 34 and 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. So that's that is exactly what I'm going into right now. Keep thy lips from evil. So, no, not lips. I'm Salakia. This is Psalms 34 and 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Because that's something that's very important. Because you might say something and then they, he say something. And it's just a fucking argument over something that is so simple. And the best thing to do... Which you try not to do, you try not to offend, you know, anyone. You know, this is a word offend. It's a, it's a verb, it means to sin against someone, to transgress, antagonize, and to hit, strike against, to stumble, commit a fault, displease, trespass against, provoke, in front of or of against, meaning to violate a law, to make a moral false step. To commit a crime, meaning to wound the feelings. Ooh, that's a dagger, man. That that right there is that right there is is something else, man. 
to attack a cell. So you try not to offend a brother. You know, you try to slowly you you watching your step when you around brothers. You know, you 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 just being careful. You keeping your feet when you going into the house of the Lord. You know, you you um you being quiet. You're not full of words. You are speaking less and hearing more. You know, you're you're listening more instead of babbling like a fool, man, like a dumb, like like a fool, like I said, man. You know, so you try not to offend brethren. You know, so you know you try not to offend brethren, so they won't get on you, man. But it's it's something that we ain't we ain't perfect, and that's something that uh, we ex we I'm pretty sure our brothers experience you try to, you try to offend less like the scripture says you try to keep your stay on top of your game and offend less you know when you around brethren but sometimes you know you may forget something you know you may you I mean we ain't perfect you know something might slip your mind you know you might be caught up in a stupid ass situation that you you don't know how you got yourself into you know, but it's all a part of, you know, we, we all sin. You know, we all we all fuck up, you know, it, it may we all fuck up and we all are striving to be perfect before you. How about me? I was shot, you know, where, uh, where one brother's lacks at another brother strong at because we're this is a body. You know, a brother might be good at doing this and this brother might be not good at doing that same thing that he's good at doing. And that brother that is good at that specific thing could help that brother, you know, that other brother that's not so good in that particular area. So it all works together, you know, just like you have 10, you have five toes and it's it might one of your toes might be, you know, uh, a little damaged. But those other four toes are going to stick up. And, you know, carry a little bit of load, a little load for the other four toes, man. For that for that one toe that cannot operate correctly, man. You know, but but the point being, they all work together and they carry each other's burdens, man. And that's another point that I don't see many people go into. Carrying each other's burden, burdens. Um, I don't see many brothers go into this uh this subject right here, not this subject like as a whole, but carrying each other's burdens. Um, wait, uh, or or I might be wrong, or I just haven't seen the video. But you know, um, going into this topic that I am going into, I haven't seen um. A video concerning that matter but um it may be one out there you know excuse me if i'm wrong but you know um i just haven't seen one concerning you know this specific topic that i'm talking about you know lord will it may be it may be one but you know i don't know so you know, i haven't seen it but you know it may be one though yeah this is galatians 6 and 2 carry ye ye one another's burdens and and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. Um, yeah, that's a bit beat. So, um, yeah, that's the Galatians um, 6 and 2. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of the Mo Hamashiach. So, bear each other's burdens okay um this is our burden now one a load that which is born or carried uh, a load away a charge a duty a child um that which is born to carry to bear children uh, um now I'm, I'm looking for a heavier definition than that um Leading idea, main topic. If it's, uh, hmm. Well, it really, it is what it is. The word means what it is. What it means, you know. A bird. I I thought it was probably a deeper definition. A low that which is bird bird burnt. I'm slot born or carried. So you know we must bear each other's burdens. You know, um, 
one brother might not have a car, you know, and the Lord is not, you know, he cannot get a car. You know, he doesn't have the funds to get a car. You know, the, those other brothers carry that burden for that, you know, and help that that help that uh, that brother out and give him a, a ride or whatever the case may be. But, you know, like uh, the point being, man, we must carry each other's burdens, you know, going back to the topic of, you know, of every brother, you know, not being strong in every area. You have some brothers are strong at doing this and some brothers are, you know, not strong so much as doing that, you know. So we must carry each other's burdens, you know, and, you know, help out, you know, to the, to the best of your ability to build up that person wherever they're lacking at, man. Because it's a body, and we're it's one body in your house. I'm not saying I'm a part of the body. I don't know, but you know, um, Lord, your house But um, we must help each other and bear each other up. You know, um, like the scripture says, um, understand first, then rebuke, man. You know, because you have to get an understanding. Because nobody knows who those men. Are you know not saying I'm a part of the elect, not saying uh, I don't know who who knows who a part of the elect. The Lord knows, you know He knows, you know. So we must understand first, then rebuke. You know, understand. You know, have try to get an understanding of, you know, why this person did this or whatever the case may be. Get an understanding of the situation. Then rebuke. Then that's being that's just being wise. You know, don't be wally, you know, silly or quick to rebuke someone and you don't understand, you know, you know, that brother's burdens that he is carrying. You may know you may not know you because you're not in his shoes. You're not uh you every brother has their different um uh what's that word for it? Uh they has the, yeah, slot. Yeah, every brother has their different burdens. A load that they have to carry, you know. So you may never know. And sometimes it's it's to it's bet it's good. You will want somebody to understand, you know. Wait, am I spelling? I'm spelling it so wrong. You want somebody to understand you, you know, understand understand the load that you're carrying, and how you you know trying your best, you know. But sometimes you can't do everything on your own. You know, that's why the scripture says, bear ye one another's burdens. But uh, I'm going to get one more precept. Uh, and this wasn't my intent to go into this, but, you know, the spirit had it. However, the spirit had it. Um, this is. Uh, hmm. Saying this last one, uh, I thought I thought it was a scripture that Yahweh said about burdens, but um, well, I can get Matthew chapter eleven verse thirty. Um, yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna pull out. Wait, wait, I think I just thought of a pre precept. Um, bear with me, Baba Kasha. Slot, um, slot. I know I'm taking too damn long. Um, burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest. Slot. I know this is taking too damn long. I thought I can't find the precept that I was looking for through the spirit, man. Damn. Oh, this is a good one. Slot, look right over this.
This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 9. And when I... Wait, I'm going to go to this. Yeah, this is 2 Corinthians 11 and 9. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied. And in all things I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you, and so will I keep myself. So that that is uh, that is a mindset that I'm learning to take on. You know, I'm trying not to, you know, um, you know, be burdensome to, you know, other brothers. You know, try to take more charge of my own responsibilities. But some things, you know, you know, you may not be able to supply like other brothers can. And this is a clear example of uh, Paul's situation, something that he didn't have. Other brothers, you know, supplied that. He was lacking in something, and other brothers supplied in that, man. You know? And that's just, this. We, I'm just looking at it in a spiritual way. You know, if I'm lacking something spiritually, brothers were, you know, you know, you know, they were uh, supply that, that what I need to hear to build me up to be better. You know, or sometimes you may you may fall short in this particular thing, but um, hey, that's just the burden that you must carry, my man. You know, that's something that every brother has their own burdens. You know, but you know, you just strive to the best of your ability, man. So through the spirit, man. So with that, man, I hope you brothers was edified with this lesson. You know, like I said, I intend, I didn't intend for. You know, to switch topics like that. But, you know, the Spirit had me, you know, going to this, you know, um, bearing each other's burdens. It probably has been a video about that. But, you know, just saying that. I don't want to um, be, you know, may say something that I'm not sure of. So I'm just not going to say. But um, the point being, man, you must bear each other's burdens. And we must keep the door of our mouth, you know, like I said. I'm going to get this precept one more time. Um, uh, this is Psalms chapter 34 verse 13 Keep thy tongue from evil And thy lips from speaking guile And that's trickery And all kinds of deceit Or whatever it may be So with that man I'm going to give all praise and honor Glory to you